Hello folks and welcome to Cookery Wizardry. This is your host Michael and today we are going to make roasted potatoes. Pretty easy recipe here, super simple. And uh, let's go ahead and get our ingredients ready. Okay, so first off we have some potatoes here. We're gonna slice these into wedges and I have a bowl to put them in. Grab our knife and just cut them however thick you want to uh, have your wedges. I usually like to have them relatively thin. So I cut them into eighths. They'll cook a little quicker this way too. And if I haven't mentioned this already, these sh should be pre-washed. Let's preheat our oven to about 450 degrees. All right, now with our potatoes chopped here, let's go ahead and prep some other ingredients. Let's start out with some garlic. Gonna, cr gonna crush and mince these. The way I like to do it is just crush the crap out of them with a knife that gets everything started to be real easy. You can just peel the skins off in no time. So just cut off the uh, end here. Not the most edible part of the garlic. I really don't have any particular measurements to this stuff here. I'd start out with about three cloves and then see how you like it with that much and then go from there. But I want mine super garlicky because last time I made it, I uh, they were good, but they could definitely use some more garlic, and, at least for my tastes. And the amount of potatoes I have here are two pounds, but um, yeah, you can use how many of you have on hand. That's just how much I had left. And these are red potatoes, of course. Okay, so I'm gonna give it another smush. Try not to let everything fly around. All right, now that we have our garlic minced here, we are good to go to get everything mixed together. So we'll need some olive oil, some salt, some rosemary, and some black pepper. What we'll do first is we'll put on some olive oil. Just get everything going. Then we'll go ahead and put on some rosemary. Center up the shot real quick for you folks so you can see it easier. At minimum, I'd put about one teaspoon of rosemary and then just a fair, fair bit of uh, pepper there and salt. Of course, you can add these two afterwards. I recommend adding a bit just in the initial cook here. Fold in our garlic. Put a little more rosemary in because I love the stuff. And, you know, might as well get some more olive oil in here. And if you have someone else helping you, have them uh, just sprinkle in some more seasonings there as you see fit. Otherwise, you'll have to uh, wipe your hands off unless you want to get your, uh, co your seasoning containers all uh, dripping wet with this lovely tasty concoction here. Flick as much back into the bowl. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more rosemary because I love, like I said, I love this stuff. And why not get some more pepper on there? Mix it together one last time. We're ready to go here. Oven's just about done preheating, so I'm gonna go ahead and pepper pan. All right, got our pan. It's lined just with heavy duty aluminum foil. And we'll just go ahead and spread these out. Might as well make this a little easier on ourselves. Try to get them all touching the bottom here as best as I can. Okay, so we are ready to go. So let's go ahead and pop this into the oven. Now we're going to bake the potatoes inside the oven for about 15 minutes, then flip them over and then cook them for another additional 15 minutes or until golden brown. All right, folks, thanks for watching here. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. Hey, subscribe if you haven't already and check out some of our other videos here as well. Another thing I do want to note is you may want to coat the pan or the aluminum foil in some olive oil or other cooking oil because these things do tend to stick quite a bit here. Got a bunch of loose skins and what have you. So, yep, um, just something to keep in mind when you're making these here. Of course, it's all improvised, but I'll put a um, base recipe in the description. Of course, you don't have to follow it. You can put as much uh, the ingredients you want in it there. Just, of course, experiment, see what... Uh, what tastes best for you there and have a good day.